Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and this video is pretty much a review on naming angles. Um, you should have already covered this in elementary school. There might be a couple of things in here that wasn't discussed that will be new to you. Make sure that you're taking your notes. And let's get started. Okay, naming angles. How are angles named? They can actually be named in three different ways. The first way is we can name the angles by using three capital letters. The middle letter is the vertex of the angle. So looking at this angle, we could name this angle ABC, or you could go backwards and name it angle CBA. The vertex has to be the middle letter. Okay, you cannot name this BCA. When you go B, C, A, there's no ray that goes from the C to the A. So that would not be the correct angle. So again, a lot of times this is how you're going to see it. It's going to be named with the three letters, and they are capital letters. The vertex, or the angle, has to be the middle letter. You can go A, B, C in alphabetical order, or you could go the opposite direction, C, B, A. Either way, B, the vertex, the angle, is the middle letter. We can also name angles by using the vertex alone. So you could say, this is angle B. You don't have to use all three letters, you could just use the vertex to name the angle, angle B. Very simple. This one is probably what you're used to. And then a third way is we can also name an angle by placing any number or symbol at the vertex in the interior of the angle. Okay, we don't really use this in sixth grade, but there's times where you might see it, so I want you to be prepared. And sometimes they'll just put a one here. And that means this angle inside, angle one. That's what they're talking about. And that's all there is to naming angles.